So I didn't record this yesterday, but this high beam was burnt out. Oh, right there. So I bought a new set high beams to put in here. And when I took the light out, y'all seen the wires running across the top of this hood, or right under the hood. There's some Romex running over there. They got these halos in here. It's a joke, absolute joke. I threw everything in the trash or I'd show you. But I was gonna order some OEM headlights, but they run like 500 bucks. Facebook Marketplace, found some OEM headlights, pretty clean, no chips, no dirt inside, that's what you want to see. I picked those up for $80 hairs, so we'll get them slapped on this thing, and now I won't have a burnt out bulb over there, I guess. And on this truck here, in particular, there's a bolt here, 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 and there. So pop forward oh. right there there's a clip here and the same on that side over there two clips oh, right there and the grill will pop out pretty easy now they cut the truck side of this pigtail sadly so I will have to repair this this is not how you do electrical installations of anything they got them cut and spliced, not really spliced. They just got wires twisted together. It's a joke. Let's just go ahead and say it. That right there, look at that. I love it. Right on. Now it's raining. It's too bad. So those are the old headlights. Here are the stock headlights. A little bit of rain coming down on us right now, but everything's in there. They look good. Let me cut them on for you real quick. No funny business with these ones. This is low beams and high beams. Looking good. Side markers working on both sides. There's just low beams and fog lights. Now I'll be able to see, that's nice. Once it gets a little darker, I'll go ahead and adjust these things up. But I've been getting rained on and I'm gonna go inside after I pick up that piece of tape, but, and those two. That was one, that's a rock, the other one is. But I'm gonna go in there and hide out for a little bit and now we got some nice headlights. We'll start it off with one pound of Browned ground pork. Say that ten times, you know. A little tongue twister. But we got. I don't have any. Also said use a roaster or a Dutch oven. That's the closest thing I've got to a roaster or a Dutch oven. That's oven safe. So we'll throw that in here and we'll add the rest of the stuff. Not today, tomatoes. So got a can of diced tomatoes. Can of this tomato soup. Now we'll go ahead and rinse both with water and add back to the pot. Add a cup of rice. A chicken or a beef cube. I don't know if I caught it on camera, but it just fell in there. So put one of those in there. So we'll go ahead. And now, like I said, I'm, I'm cutting this whole recipe in half. So it calls for two tablespoons of sugar. So one tablespoon of sugar. In it goes. And a half tablespoon of dill weed. In it goes. Do a quick mix. I'm not sure if the corn's getting overwatered, mainly because of the rain. I got my sprinkler all dialed back due to the rain, but it's, I didn't weed this for like probably a month. I really just slacked off and I got water mowings growing in the weeds. You can't even see them. There's one, one up there, pretty big one, but cantaloupes galore. 
I should have weeded, but I really didn't do too good of a job of weeding. Now, these zucchinis are about done. I don't think they're, oh, there is one more in there I see. But it's hard to keep up out here with work and what do you call it? Grocery shopping, cooking and yard work. It's nothing but work, it's all it is. Look at that, that's a big one right there. I'll pick that in a minute, but I got a bunch of melons growing out here. Here's a pretty, pretty big one right here. Got a little rotten spot. That melon ain't no good, but it is pretty big. We'll go ahead and cut it off so it stops stealing some nutrients. But this ain't nothing like what I grew in Arizona, but they're getting there. So I got melons everywhere, cantaloupes everywhere. Let's see about this one. Rock hard still. But cantaloupes are getting there. Bushel of them right there is four. Got corn. I got ears of corn for days too. I need to come out here and pick this corn. I'm pretty sure it's about done. It don't look like it's getting much bigger. So I got a few jalapenos coming in. They're looking pretty good. Where's the other one at? I just seen it. There it is. One right there. And one up here. One right there. It looks like one starting right there. But I got a few jalapenos coming in. Another one right there. But they're doing good. Jalapenos are coming in. So I pulled the truck up real quick and put a new fuel filter in it. And when I pulled this element out, it's not, I don't know, I mean, it's a Napa filter here, but so you got your filter for the, the top one here, your big filter, your O-ring, sorry, your big O-ring here for the threads, and then your lower, your smaller filter, O-ring, sorry, your smaller O-ring is for the bottom half of that filter. Um, apparently they left the old one in there, because I found that inside that filter bowl. The only reason I even looked is because I'm, I have a bad habit of, well it's not a bad habit, it's a very good habit, I'm very meticulous, but I verify every time I change a filter, look at this thing, it's nasty. Every time I change a filter, I make sure I got my O-rings, whether it's an oil filter with your oil filter seal on the bottom of it like that, or whether it's a fuel filter with thread or with an O-ring like that, whatever it is, I change it every time. I was making sure it come out, well it didn't. So I looked down inside there and I seen, I seen this right here. I seen th that number sitting there. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool, you know. Pull all that out of there and put a new filter in it. I had to go with the car quest. That was the only thing anyone had in town. So went from a Napa Gold to a car quest filter. But it don't really matter. That was all they had. And it'll work for me until 15,000 miles from now. And I'll put a new one in it again. Put this onion in here. I guess those don't want to come off. So mix that in as well. The last thing we need is some garlic. And then you throw it in the oven at 350 for an hour. Let me see if I can eyeball in two cloves here. That's about two cloves. And we'll mix this in as well. Lid on it, throw it in the oven. So this has been in there for an hour. Go ahead and mix it up one more time. He said give it a good stir and then throw it back in for another 45 minutes to an hour. So I got me a new crankcase ventilation filter here. We'll go ahead and pull the valve cover off this thing. Well, not valve cover, but crankcase vent filter cover off and slap the new filter in it. Just did a fuel filter. And I know I should have done it when I bought the truck, but I just really wasn't thinking about it. So I've got it put back together. The fan on is a little hot. Here's that old filter. Uh, fleet guard. There she is. But that's the old one. Got the new one installed already. And I'm done.
So here it is, straight out of the oven. After one hour in, pull it out, stir it all up. One hour back in, he said one hour to one hour 45, but I seen that it was thickening up, thickening up, so I left it in there a little bit longer just to get it like this. It's kind of the consistency I was aiming for. So it turned into pretty much what I wanted it to make, being that I've never seen it before, but this is kind of what I had an idea of. But anyhow, we'll try it and see how she turns out. I lied, you're supposed to put sour cream in this after you plated it up, put a scoop of sour cream. I just went back and read the comment and I only forgot sour cream, but we don't have any sour cream right now. It's really good without sour cream, you know, I could, I don't really care for sour cream, but I'm sure it would set this over the top. I'll eat it either way, but I threw some shredded cheese in there. We'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead and taste test it. I've got it all bowled up here. Now, I'm assuming if you pulled it out at the 45 minute mark, it might be a little more runny, but here now it's nice and cooked. This is, this is what I had imagined off of just the ingredients he gave me. So let's go ahead and, oh, I got a little too much that I want here, but a little bit of everything, a little tomato, some onion, some sausage, rice, got it on my finger. Let's go ahead and give it a quick try. There it is right there on a the fork. I guess this is a spoon, but don't judge me. My dog wants some, so I'll tell you right, it is very good. I like it, and I mean, I would, I would recommend this. You want some? You want to eat? I would recommend this. Hey, 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 hey. We're doing something over here. Anyhow, I'd recommend it. It's a very good meal. Um, being that it's warming up outside, it just kind of sucks to have your oven on for two hours. But more it's of like not... a winter meal. Yeah, it's more of a winter, winter meal here, but it is very good. I will say that, and I appreciate you for the recipe that you gave me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and eat dinner here and get these dogs to quiet down. So, keep on watching.